Hi, you winners, and welcome to another Winning Wednesday. Now, I just wanted to get the stuff out of the way of the updates for the playthroughs and the streams. And then I figure I talk about something that I feel like I need to say now before all chaos breaks loose in the far future. So, that's dramatic and <laughs> blowing up the situation in general, but I'll talk about it afterwards. The first thing is uploads and what's going on with playthroughs. So the last time I did a Winning Wednesday, I think I just finished Perception. So I was still uploading the rest of the Friday the 13th videos that I had. And I may or may not have more coming up shortly um, because it depends what's going on today. But I'm recording this the day before, so tomorrow. That makes sense, right? Um, but otherwise, I've been doing Emily is Away 2, which is quite the game. Chapter 3 was not my friend. And then from there on, I just was so kind of salty over it. I feel kind of bad because it almost ruined the rest of my experience. Like chapter three almost kind of ruined the rest of the experience with the game. On top of that, I talk about how I feel about the way the game went about certain things at the end. Um, because I, I was uh, not a fan of certain things. But this game, a majority of the time, does hit a nail on the head with how things are once, one, when you're a teenager, and two, when AIM was around. So I will say that. But I do give a really long two cents on how relationships can also be different and don't take this game with face value. So if you guys want some good PSAs and want some good advice, honestly, that playthrough does have a lot of it that I think a lot of people need to hear as well. And I'll point out when the game does do some good advice shit, like you can say some really good things in the game that I think everyone needs to hear as well. So it just depends on what you're going through and what's going on. But I do think it's a good game for that reason, for education purposes. But otherwise, that game will be done as of today when this is uploaded. And I think it's the last part because I don't plan on going through Evelyn's story. And I explain why at the end of five because I don't want to talk about it as spoiler purposes but um, I don't plan on it as of right now. Yeah, that's what's been being uploaded. On top of that, kind of crossing over into my second topic is live streams. Well, that's what's also been uploaded. So Frambo is something I just live streamed on Sunday. And my word, I've never played that game before. And it is quite the interesting game, guys. I don't know anything of it other than what I've played now but I really was playing it blind and I didn't watch anyone else's playthroughs because I was really interested in the game. Did not realize how zero to 10 it was all the time. That's how I explain it. It's just like, that's the only way I can explain it. It's an entire game of, well, that escalated quickly <laughs> all the time. So I really enjoy it though. Cause I like one, I like story, which this has so much story, like a bunch of different stories inside of a story, stuff like that. And I really like being like, what the hell's happening? Like that's pretty much the entire game. And I like that feeling. Um, it keeps me from getting frustrated and it keeps me from being too scared to play stuff like that. So I will say I do really enjoy the game. So I hope you guys do too. It seems like a lot of people are really excited about the first part, so I'll take it. Also, there's a lot of people watching on Twitch. So going into the live stream aspect of my updates, a lot of you seem to really like Frambo, so I do plan on playing it next, the next time I stream. I'm thinking that may or may not be Thursday. I would like to stream some of Frambo Thursday, so that way I have more content for the next days after that. Um, and, cause I really kinda just wanna knock out Frambo, cause I really like it and wanna know the ending. And two, I feel like playthroughs do better if you just keep uploading them day after day after day and don't have a break, and then have the break afterward if you need one. Um, I feel like that does the best, in my opinion, but that that is pretty much what's going on from this last live stream and what's going on with the next live streams. There may or may not be a live stream happening right now as this is uploaded, if you guys are watching. Otherwise, I don't know, um, because I was invited to play Friday the 13th with friends today, Wednesday night, but it depends on if they're still live streaming when I get back, because I'm going to a class <laughs> or else I would. Um, and I already promised my friend I'm gonna go to this class and I already canceled on Monday for going to it. So I gotta go today, but if I'm still back in time before they've ended and they have an extra slot, I will be playing Friday the 13th shortly after this has been uploaded. Um, and then I'll have some Friday the 13th footage 
for the next few days. Otherwise, if I don't get to play with them, then I will be recording, I think, the ending of Outlast 2, and I just might knock that out in the next few days as well. It just depends on everything that's happening. Um, but yeah, Thursday I would like to do Frambo and try and at least get chapter three done if I can't, you know, do chapter three and four because I've heard three is really long. So I may just end up doing one chapter on Thursday. And then Friday, I would have an art stream, but there are two, th I literally don't know this weekend. It's driving me insane because I love to plan and I love to give you guys time to plan. What I do know for sure is happening this weekend is on Saturday is my dad's 50th birthday party. It starts at 2 p.m. So obviously I won't be able to stream beforehand um, unless it's like early morning, but I don't know. I don't know if I want to wake up that early. And then Saturday night, I don't know if I'm hanging out with one of my friends because like I said, I hang out with Snuffles one day out of the weekend as well. So that way I get some social interaction outside of my little bubble here and that will either be friday night or saturday night um i'd like it to be saturday night so that way friday night i could art stream but it i don't know what time i'll be back from my dad's and i also don't know when she works because if she works saturday night she won't be able to hang out saturday night and i'd like to hang out with her on friday night which means i wouldn't be able to art stream but i did at least do the art stream for frambo so i don't feel as bad if i'm not able to because i did get to get a uh, get time in on this last Monday for doing Frambo. Um, I realized I forgot to talk about that. I did have an art stream this last week in case you guys missed it. It is still on Twitch and I will be uploading the live stream of it or the speed paint of it um, later because I still have to do it. <laughs> Emily's away speed paint's gonna be like two seconds so maybe I'll just upload them both. But I, I don't know what I'd do anyway if I did an art stream Friday. But if, if uh, Snuffles absolutely can't do Friday, I might as well art stream. So it just depends what's going on. I literally have no idea, so I'm gonna have to ask Snuffles their schedule. But I also don't know if I'm streaming Sunday because my dad hasn't gotten back to me. Um, but if I do stream on Sunday, it'll probably be the end of Frambo. So since I'll be doing chapter three probably Thursday, I will do like four and five and just finish the game on Sunday. We shall see, but yeah. Um, <laughs> otherwise I have no idea what I'm doing. <laughs> Possibly today, right now, is Friday the 13th. Otherwise, Frambo tomorrow, Thursday. And then possibly art stream Friday, have no idea. Possibly stream Sunday, have no idea. I'll let you guys know again on Twitter what I'm doing as soon as I know. I'm so sorry this is chaotic, but <laughs> the holidays are a little chaotic in my family and trying to plan around everyone, so. Also, if you've been hearing <laughs> coughing and sneezing and sniffling, that's all, River, because the air around here is insane. All the humidity, all the pollen that's flying everywhere. Allergies are not fun. It's just, yeah. So if you hear that, that's why. Um, otherwise, what I wanted to talk about is as of this upload, so two days ago, um, I did get a comment that I'm not going to say what it was or anything, um, but it kind of made me realize something. And I just want to kind of address it um, pretty much what's going on and what I've noticed is that on my channel and on Twitch I am struggling more and more to keep up with everyone and I hate this I do because of several reasons but primarily because I've never liked letting people down ever and on top of that, I hate that. It's one of those moments that I really do hate that I'm a slow reader and that I'm dyslexic because it's out of my control and there's only so much I can do. And so addressing comments, reading chat is harder for me than for a person with normal reading capabilities or even higher, most people have higher <laughs> reading capabilities. And I'm not on par with that and I'm struggling. And it's kind of hard to talk about, but I just wanted to address it because I realize it will only get worse as I get bigger and as my following gets bigger. And as much as that's awesome, and that's great, and I welcome as many people as possible because seriously, you guys are awesome. I literally am one person. And if you look at my numbers on YouTube 
And if you look at my numbers on Twitch, remember, standardly about 20 to 100 people are watching my stream, and I'm one person with dyslexia who has comprehension, comprehension issues on top of the dyslexia. So I may read something and then not realize what I read and read it three more times in order to understand it. I'm only one person with all of those reasons. And I'm not trying to make excuses, I'm not, but it's not just the, like, I'm not just telling you guys to remember that because I'm like, well, you should fucking remember this because I'm only one person. No, it's also because I feel terrible and I do. I hate that I can't get to everyone and I can't read everything and I can't do everything that I would love to do because I know that a lot of you, a lot of you, love that I'm a small channel in the sense that I can reply back to you. I get so many people, so many people that are like, oh my God, she actually reads chat. Or so many people that are like, oh my God, she actually answers all the comments in every single video. Like that's awesome and that's amazing commitment. And like no other YouTuber does that. And that always makes me feel good and then terrified <laughs> because that's not gonna last forever. And I, I know I literally can only hold this up for so long. And I want you guys to know that I'm trying. That's all I want you guys to know. And remember, when those situations arise where I may have to stop responding to every comment, where I may have to stop reading chat as frequently as I do in order to progress in a game or in order to finish doing the artwork, because I gotta do, I gotta do my work too. I'm conflicted. <laughs> I just want you to remember that I do care and that I wish that I could get to everyone. And it's starting to scare me that I can't. It is genuinely terrifying to me because I feel terrible about it, which sucks. It was not a fun night having this realization two nights ago because it's just really hard to accept that I can't do everything I wanna do. Type A personalities, guys. Type A personalities that are Hufflepuffs and ENFPs. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. I'm trying to talk too fast, too much at one point, but yeah, I just want you guys to know that I do care. I will always care. And I'm trying. But please forgive me if I can't. I have to tell myself I'm only one person and I can only do so much. Hence why I've been late a week on, at least a week, on comments and I'm trying to keep up with them. It's just not really happening, but I'm trying. And I, I need to remind myself that that's the best I can do and I literally, in the amount of time in a day or the amount of time in a stream, I can literally only address so much. So I'm gonna try my best, guys. I just ask that you bear with me. On top of that, if you guys really, really, really want me to see whatever you said, or if you really want me to see your comment, maybe, I wouldn't say spam it, but like Twitter, I it's really easy to actually respond on Twitter. <coughs> Because one, I don't get nearly as much comments or people talking to try and focus on. So it's really easy to reply back on Twitter. So if you guys do feel like, hey, I wonder if she'll respond to me, there. If you guys have a serious situation that you can't say publicly, I have my DMs open and I do have my YouTube messages open and I will try to get to them as soon as I can. I may not be able to right away because I do have a quite a few of them in both situations, but I will do my best. But I will say, comments and chat are gonna start to get harder and harder for me especially as i'm trying to make this my full-time job or even like part-time job on top of art and stuff like that i'm gonna actually have to start focusing on what i'm doing on twitch more with like playing the game or doing the art that i'm supposed to be doing and i need to knock it out because i love talking to chat i really do and i go on really long rants especially during art streams but i do need to reel myself back a bit and focus more on the art only because I take as long as I take. So if I'm talking to you guys, that's awesome, but I still have to go to bed in two hours sometimes and I need to finish this thing before I go to bed. So there's some situations where I literally need to wrap it up or I literally need to focus on what I'm doing in order to stay on my healthy sleep schedule that I'm trying to maintain and not doing well with again, but I'm gonna try my best. Um, on top of that, I think I'm going to come up with a nice little medium of maybe, and this won't be very soon, but in the future I might have like an hour 
where like an hour a week or something where it's just sit down and chat and it will be on Twitch and I will try my best to read as many chat comments as possible and just talk with you guys and that's I'll take the time to just literally focus on you guys so that way when I'm doing games or art I can focus on those things and then you guys can talk amongst yourselves talk about the game or if I need help you guys are able to be there um, but then I'll be able to focus on how you guys are doing and check in with you guys so let me know if you guys would like that if you guys would like that check in and to see what's going on I know you guys also aren't twitch so not everyone that's on YouTube is twitch so I'm gonna have to say this on twitch at some point too I'm sure um, but I just wanted to update those that do watch every single video and go to every single stream or try to um, this is kind of like a I want to know what you guys think I just want to keep in touch with you guys as much as I can while I still can so I'm thinking that hour-long stream might help that so let me know what you guys think but that's the only thing I can really help with Twitch um, comments wise though I just really hope you guys understand that I'm doing what I can um, but I know I've said a couple things double time I'm gonna try and edit times where I talked in circles because I'm really good about doing that I'm really good about talking in circles and repeating what I said in a different way <laughs> but which I'm pretty sure I just did but I just wanted to say that and get it out in the air while I'm not gigantic and can't do anything anyway which I'll probably have to do another video then when that happens but as of right now I want you guys to know that I care about you guys I really really do or else I wouldn't make this video, or else I wouldn't feel this way. And there's literally only so many times I could tell you guys that. Only you guys can determine whether or not you actually feel that way. But this is the best I can do. And I want you guys to know that. So, I love you guys. I do. And I will see you guys in the next Winning Wednesday. Or playthrough. Or whatever it is you guys watch. So, keep winning guys. Bye.